Hey, hi everyone. This is Dilip and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience at Microsoft. So let's get started. Now, before sharing my interview experience, I just wanted to share how I got this opportunity. So there's a story like uh, before, like getting a call from the recruiter, I actually uh, know that recruiter as I have given an interview to a company named Symphony. So uh, previously he was working that recruiter at Symphony and uh, I had an interview uh, there with Symphony and uh, while having a conversation with that recruiter. Now, a few months back, he, he kind of switched to a different company, Microsoft, and he again reached out to me if I'm kind of interested for this role at Microsoft for his D2 role, for which I said yes. And that's how I got this opportunity. But uh, before like actually, I mean, uh, getting this opportunity, I've tried multiple times to the portal as well. And which I found, for which I found very uh, kind of uh, low success rate. So, but uh, people do get opportunity applying via the portal as well. So, if you are someone who's kind of looking to get an interview, just uh, go with the portal option, go with the referral option, or if you know some recruiter, reach out to them. So that way, your chances will be higher for getting an interview. Now, coming to the interview part. Now, if for someone who's already got this opportunity, there will be the first round. That will be the online coding round. Uh, it basically uh, conducted on a hacker rank platform. Uh, it kind of consists of two coding questions, 90 minute time. Uh, from the, like, uh, as it's kind of a two question for 90 minutes, it sounds like a lot of time, but the interesting part is like, the first question is more of a medium level, which you'll be able to solve like 15, 20 minutes. But the second question is like quite hard and it take good amount of time to solve it. So be prepared for that. So, so have some extra time for that. And if you are kind of not able to solve that problem completely, try to have a maximum uh, test cases pass for that problem because uh, I have noticed that ultimately it depends on how many test cases you passed for that coding round. So what happened is like uh, you kind of get a score based on like uh, uh, how many test cases you passed for uh, first and second problem. And if you like kind of uh, clear the cutoff marks, let's say out of 100, if clear 80 is kind of the cutoff. So if you clear the 80 cutoff uh, by passing both the problems test cases, and uh, then you will be basically shortlisted for the next round. And if you didn't able to clear that cutoff, uh, then you, you won't be able to sh uh, get shortlisted for the next round. So the cutoff marks is kind of not known to you. The only thing is known uh, is like when you submit the test, uh, submit the problem, it kind of show you how many test cases it passed. So try to have the as much test cases passed as possible. Now that's about the online coding round. Now moving on to the uh, other rounds, the first one was the DSA round and it was like uh, a coding problem given to me, uh, more of a medium level lead code problem and I was able to solve in 15-20 minutes. Uh, but the expectation from the interviewer was to come up uh, with the optimal solution. It was not more of a like a brute force he was kind of interested in. So brute force initially we discussed for the 4-5 minutes and after all she wanted to me to solve it using an optimized version that we discussed for 15 20 minutes and i was able to solve that problem and later on he asked me to optimize it in terms of space if uh, i can reduce the space and everything for which it was not uh, like uh, written code she wants she just want like verbally for me to explain the space complexity and other analysis now once that part is done she asked more question related to my projects what i have did in my past and it went to till one hour and uh, ultimately it went well and so yeah uh, that's all about the dsa round so uh, if you are kind of preparing for this then i will suggest focus on the medium level lead code problems don't go for hard problems it is more gonna be a, a medium level uh, revised topics like string uh, binary search those kinds of topic graph or dynamic programming so these topics uh, have a like a gist of it uh, have a good revision for, for these topics and it's gonna help you for this round now coming to the next round it was uh, more of a low level design round but it kind of a very strange it's not like uh, directly he comes up with the interview or comes up with the problem so what happened is like uh, for me he initially asked my previous projects and everything and while i was explaining my project he kind of in the middle uh, frame a scenario and for which he wanted uh, to, for me to basically have uh, all the classes and all the class diagram related stuff like how I'm going to relate those classes and everything. So it was more of a low level design round, but not the typical like a parking system question or a snake ladder game design. So it was not like that. So uh, be prepared for uh, what you are explaining uh, while you're explaining the project. So be thorough about it. Just have a like a, a good uh, uh, concise, like if something gonna frame within your project resume. So just be thorough about that. So that was about the LLD round. 
Now moving on to the next round, it was more of again the uh, project side related round. I would say uh, it was like uh, he was uh, started asking question related to my projects, and then it went like a more of like a, if I need to scale something, so more of a high level design uh, round. You, you can say so it was like more of a. Uh, if something's gonna scale, if the system's gonna scale, how are you gonna handle it? If uh, if like a cap theorem related question, so which one you gonna prefer in your current projects and why the reason for that? So it, it was kind of grinding that. It was hardly around 30 to 35 minutes uh, only, but uh, just uh, again, so you have to be thorough uh, if you are kind of giving this round. So just be prepared for that. Now coming to the final round, it was more of a behavioral round and it was like a typical started with the projects related questions. Then again, uh, he went on asking me uh, deeper questions related to like how I'm going to like answer uh, such uh, such kind of scenarios in a workplace if I face, how I'm going to handle that. So, so something like uh, if you have a conflict with uh, your manager, something like conflict with a uh, colleague then how you want to handle it if you if you are kind of explaining something to a junior engineer then how how you want to handle that so those kind of uh, related uh, scenarios he is going to ask you uh, and there are like bunch of questions uh, for the behavioral round so I, i'm going to share a list with you just go over that and have a like a story like uh, uh, for each of the questions so if something's going to come up to you so you have a, already a story for that and you can share the story with the interviewer so that's all about my round. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching it. Have a nice day.